Hello again, all you wonderfully odd individuals. Today, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be showing you how I make Dead by Daylight thumbnails. It's a simple, straightforward method I believe all of us are capable of, even though there are many other ways to go about it. Since I'm not a fan of crazy long tutorial intros, let's get into it. So, we are going to be making a thumbnail for my upcoming Hunters video on Thursday. Now, personally, I like to take photos of my killers directly from my video recordings. You can also take a screenshot from inside the game, but let me show you my method and you can decide from there. So we're just going to go ahead and open our videos folder. We're going to go to our YouTube videos or wherever you have your video saved. Here's our Huntress video and we're going to go ahead and pop that open. Let's go ahead and pause it real quick. Make sure the sound's off. We don't need any of that. Now, just for the sake of this quick tutorial, we're going to go ahead and use this image right here. It's not a bad picture of her and it's going to work fine for our thumbnail. So we're going to go ahead and just click on this little pencil down here. Go to save photo from video and wait for that to open up. I didn't actually say this is just the movies and TV app that came with Windows. So again, the picture here is a little blurry. Don't worry about that. It's not going to come out that way in the saved photo. Just go up here to the right and click save photo. It's going to go ahead and save that right next to our video. So let's exit out of here. And let's exit out of here since we don't need this anymore either. Goodbye. And there's our picture right there. In most of my thumbnails, I like to use the two add-ons that my killer is going to be using throughout the video. So let's go ahead and grab those next. We're going to go ahead and minimize this since we no longer need it. All right. And maybe this next part is cheating, but we're going to go ahead and we're just going to open up a Google page and we're going to search Huntress DVD and we're going to hit enter. And it's the very first thing that pops up. It's going to be the Dead by Daylight official wiki. Sorry, let me make this a little larger here. All right, we're going to go ahead and scroll down, 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 down until we find the add-ons that we're going to be using, which is actually going to be this flower babushka right here and this rose root right here. So let's go ahead and we're going to click on the flower babushka image. We're going to wait for it to load. It takes just a second. We go to right click, save image as, and we're just going to go ahead and save this right in our resources folder, which is within our video folder is, uh, what is it called again? Flower Babushka. There we go. Not 100% sure that's correct. The spelling's right there. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay, now we're gonna go back and we're gonna do the same thing for Rose Root. Da, 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 da. We're gonna save image and we're gonna call that Rose Root. These right here, these are going to be the uh, perks that I'm going to be using in my video. They are, I already cut those out since they're not part of our thumbnail. All right, save that. And now we're done here. We don't need this anymore. Let's go ahead and close out of that. All right, now that we've done all that, the program we're actually going to be using to make the thumbnail is Adobe Photoshop. I'm sure you guys are familiar with it. It's a little pricey. And if you don't have access to it, there's always the free version, which is called GIMP. G-I-M-P. I'll go ahead and put the link in the description for that. I believe the names of most of the tools are changed, but they all function fairly similarly. You should be able to get by just fine with the free version. All right, let's go ahead and open up Photoshop. Wait for that bad boy to open. It takes forever. All right, so you're going to have your recent projects down here. We're going to go to create new. The size we're going to be using is 1280 by 720 at 300 resolution. So we're just going to go ahead and click on that. Now I am actually going to open up a second new project here, the exact same size. Reason being, I'm going to use one of these bad boys for scratch paper. And one of them is going to be our actual thumbnail. So let's start over here on our uh, quote unquote scratch paper project. So the first thing we're going to do is get our background image. Go ahead and open up the file folder that you had all your images saved. And let me drag this over here. We're going to drag the uh, picture that we took of Huntress over to the side here. And there she is. Beautiful. Uh, let's go ahead and hit the check mark up there. All right. So normally I would take two images out of my video, one for the killer and one for the background. For the sake of simplicity, we're going to be using the same image for both. So to get our background image, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this uh, picture we just dragged in. Whoops. And we're going to make it very large until we can't see Huntress anymore or any of the icons here on the left. We're going to hit OK. We're going to go down to our layer. We're going to right click and we're going to raster size, rasterize, raster size. You'll see the button there. Uh, it should be grayed out now, but rasterize, rasterize layer. You're going to hit that. OK, and uh, honestly, the only reason we're doing that is it's going to allow us to crop our image right here. 
uh, without it, for some reason, it doesn't work. I don't know the actual reasoning behind it. I'm not that intelligent. All right, so we're just going to go up to the top left corner. We're going to drag all the way down, and it's going to make a 1280 by 720 uh, selection there. We're going to let go. We're going to come up here to the top. We're going to make sure delete cropped pixels is selected. And then we're going to hit our check mark. And as you can see, it is now the exact size that we need. So I'm just going to control C to copy this. Drag, go over to our actual thumbnail and paste it down. And we're going to go back here and I'm going to delete this. Ironically enough, we're going to open up our file and drag the exact same image back in. Hit our select again. All right, this time we're going to resize it, but we're going to, doesn't have to be perfect here. We just want it to be big enough to where we can get the most, most of our hunters here. We don't need the whole thing because we're going to be cutting off quite a bit of it later. We're probably not even going to use all of this, but this is a, this is a pretty easy area to grab. So we're going to come over here to the left to our quick selection tool. If you don't already have your quick selection tool selected, you can right click and make sure you have your quick selection tool selected. Now you're going to come back over here to your image and we're just going to kind of click and drag down and select the majority of our girl here and get her little axe over here. I'm sure you guys can tell that I'm clicking and dragging to get these features. It doesn't have to be perfect. Not here, not at the beginning. We just want to get the majority over here. Think of this as like a rough draft grab. It's probably going to try to grab the background. Actually, it did pretty good. Not so shabby, not so shabby. We got her in some pretty good light. Okay, so every once in a while, you're going to have it grab something you don't want. You're just going to hit Alt and run back over that area. You're going to let it know you don't want that. Go away. Nobody wants you. Sorry about that. And then we're going to go through and just kind of click through with uh, after letting go of Alt. Don't forget to let go of Alt. And we're going to make sure we've got all of this selected. Again, I kind of grabbed a little bit I didn't want there. So let's press down Alt and make sure it knows. And again, I'm not going to make this perfect. I just want it to be passable. Uh, think about the screen that people are going to be viewing these on. It's, it's going to be relatively tiny. So they're not going to notice if anything's messed up. I might speed it up here just for a second so we can get through this. All right, here we go. Alrighty, I'm back. Okay, let's go back up here to our object grabber tool. Let's just control C and go back to our final draft and control V. That's going to paste our cutout. And again, if you look at it, it looks pretty darn good. And our, our selection definitely wasn't perfect there. So again, when they're scrolled out and you're going to look at this on a very, very, very small format on a cell phone or a tablet or a whatever, what have you, people aren't going to notice any imperfections, at least not little ones like that. So don't worry too much about it being perfect. We got our girl on there. Let's uh, let's resize her a bit. Let's kind of get her to where she's uh, the center of attention. I still kind of want the axe in there, maybe. That might be asking too much. All right, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Okay, let's hit our check mark there so we can tell it that's good for us. So at this point, we don't really need our scratch paper anymore. We can go ahead and get rid of that, and we don't really need to save it. This is what we're working with. We got all of our all, all of our good stuff right here. All right, so next we're gonna open up our uh, file folder again and we're gonna grab those add-on downloads that we had earlier. We're just gonna go ahead and drag them in. We're gonna resize them. Remember, you don't have to make your positioning like I do. It's just something that for me seems to work fairly well. Uh, you guys do whatever you want. See, this doesn't feel, she doesn't feel big enough. We might have to fix that. But let's go ahead and get both of these in here first. We'll get the babushka in and then we'll drag our rose root in. And again, we'll resize that. And we'll hit our check mark. All right, so that doesn't look too terrible. Let's get things to be a little bit more where we want them. I think we're just going to have to... Oh, we might have to just 86 the axe. I don't know. I wanted it to make it in the shot, but... I'm not liking the sizing. We'll see, we'll see. That might be okay. All right, so remember over here where your layers are that it's going to order your images according to the layers. So as right now, both of these are on top of our Huntress layer. So 
they're both going in front of her, and we don't necessarily want that. We probably want this back one, the babushka, to be behind her. Da -da -da -da. Make that a little bit bigger. And then this one can be in front of her to kind of give it a little bit more of like a 3D effect. Make it look uh, a little less two-dimensional. I'm probably going to bring this down a little bit too. You want to be careful on your thumbnail as well. This area down here is where your timestamp shows up on your uh, for your video. So if you put any tiny text down here or any tiny images, people are not going to see them. They have to be large and they can't be down here in the right corner. Anyway, this is not bad. I'm, I'm liking this. I might have to change it up here in a bit, but let's move on to the next step. So I'm going to start with my background image here. We're going to make sure that layer is selected. We're going to right click the layer. Whoops. Right click the layer and go up to blending options. And that's going to give us all of our fun little, uh, what are we going to call these? Jazz them up options. All right. We're going to call these jazz them up options. So I'm not going to explain all of these. That would be far too much. The ones that I'm going to use are inner glow. That's going to give us our white barrier. As you can see, we can make it bigger. We can make it smaller. And I usually like to keep it right around 20 or maybe a little bit less, depending on the thumbnail. Quick note, if you didn't crop your image correctly, if you just left it large, this inner glow isn't going to work because it's going to go around the rim of the entire image. And if your image is large, you're not going to have the bottom or the side. You're just going to have one corner here. So make sure your image is cropped correctly so you can get your nice little uh, background. Now, I actually didn't mean to close that. So let's go ahead and right click and open blending options again. And actually for this guy, we're going to make that like a 15 thickness. Oh my God, I closed it again. One more time. One more time. Okay. So we're not going to close it. We're going to set our inner glow the way we want. I personally like white. I used to use black. A subscriber pointed out to me that white would look better. And I agree with them. So you use whatever color you want. Do your own thing. I like white. You can use white too. The other thing that I like to use is the cover color overlay. We can go in here. Now, I use multiply sometimes, I use normal sometimes, and then I, if I use normal, I usually have to take the opacity down. For this bad boy, I think we're just gonna use uh, n multiply, and I think we're gonna go for like a pinker background this time, so maybe I should start explaining things. So, this is our overlay, as you can see. If we take it away, that's what our background looks like. If we add it, that's what our background looks like. We can change the intensity of the color that we're adding to it. We can go to normal. It makes it a lot more solid, but you can change the opacity if you want the color to be a little bit brighter. Sometimes it, eh, you know what? We might stick with normal. This doesn't look too bad. Maybe turn it up a little bit. We'll see. We might change back to multiply. I like this. So we got a nice little purple background. I like this, but what about pink? Ah, uh, cancel. Let's stay with purple. I like purple. Okay. So we got our nice purple background. We got our outline. Let's go ahead and click OK. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go add some effects to our Huntress. We're going to go to blending options for the, her layer. And we're not going to do too much. Honestly, we're going to do one thing. We're going to do a drop shadow for her. Um, I personally usually stick with the black drop shadows. You can go with red, white, any color you desire. I like black. Gives her a little bit more definition, makes her stand out a little bit more. And as you can see, we can kind of change the sizes here. Change the spread a little bit. You do what works for you. We want her to be defined, but we don't want it to be like crazy, right? We want it to still look like a shadow, not quite an ink blot. And again, it kind of also gives a perspective that she's in front of this add-on, right? So this isn't too bad. I, I, I can live with this. Let's go ahead and click OK. One of the other things I usually like to do for my, uh, my killer images is I like to go up here to the top, go to image and do auto color. Kind of makes her stand out a little bit more. We're not quite done yet. We're gonna go to image. We're gonna do auto contrast. Gives it a little bit more definition and then auto tone. All right, see? And I think that makes her stand out a little bit more than she used to. Uh, you don't have to use that step, personally up to you. Uh, I think the AI does a pretty good job for the most part. All right, so our last step is we're gonna add our little drop shadow to these guys. So let's go to the flower babushka. We're just gonna go, whoops. Yeah, I guess we're gonna go over here. I was meant to do this one, but we're going over here either way. Let's go to our flower babushka and we're gonna go ahead and go up to blending options. Are you seeing a pattern here? We're gonna go to drop shadow, but we're not gonna use black. We're gonna go probably the pink route because I really like the effect of the purple and the pink together. 
So we're gonna set our drop shadow settings the way we like. And I think that's pretty good. Now, instead of going to this and trying to duplicate it, I'm just gonna right click our babushka again, copy layer style, go to the rose root and right click and paste layer style. There we go. So now we've got our, honestly, we've got our thumbnail. This looks pretty good. We can uh, move things around if we want. We can change sizes a little bit. Whoops, we can change our sizes a little bit. But this isn't bad. I think I'll actually... Why are, you, why are you doing this to me? There we go. I think I'll actually stick with it the way we had it. This isn't bad. So here's our thumbnail. Now, the reason I picked purple, the reason I picked pink, obviously they're colors that complement each other. You can change the colors to whatever you want. Screw around with it. See what works. You don't have to use the same drop shadow color. You don't have to use the same uh outline you know do it make it your own or copy it i honestly don't care all right to finish this bad boy up we're gonna come up here we're gonna go to file we're gonna go to export we're gonna go to export or sorry we're gonna go to quick export as png and i'm gonna go to my videos folder again same folder same folder we're gonna go to my resources and this is gonna be the huntress thumbnail and that's our thumbnail. That's what we're going to be uploading to YouTube. Looks pretty good in my opinion. Now again, there are a variety of ways to make thumbnails, and I'm sure there are some ways that are more efficient, more effective, whatever. But this is a way that works for me, and there's a lot of room for innovation to make it your own. I've gotten a lot of questions regarding my thumbnails, thus this video. So if you have any other things you might want to see a tutorial on, let me know down in the comments. It may not be the best way, but I'll gladly show you my way, and you can build on it from there. When I first started making these videos, I could not find anything on how to make a Dead by Daylight thumbnail. So I really hope that this video helped. Let me know down in the comments, leave a like if it did, and don't forget, if there's anything else you'd like to see, let me know. I'm available on Twitch, Twitter, and Discord. Those links down in the description. Bye for now.